did you ever serve in the military? Or no, no, no. Or? But you know, you you it just uh, ties into the history of the area. What's your age? I'm 56. I'm uh, 48. My dad was in the Navy. Oh, yeah. maybe he was uh, could have been drafted for Vietnam. Or... Well, he actually went in uh, uh, in the 50s, and he was still in during Vietnam. He was 20 years. Oh, he got 20 years yeah. in. So. Uh, what caused you to stop? I just saw you standing here, and I knew that this was the Camp Severe uh, little memorial. monument thing here. That was neat. The ladies' auxiliary for the American Legion put that plaque on the stone. So, yeah, I'm just going to practice, play a, play a few notes. I'm just an ordinary guy. And, uh, but it, it's, but I, I, play, I was in the Air National Guard Honor Guard in Vermont. And then still, with the cutbacks in the military, they need people to uh, fill in they have a digital bugle did you know that yeah yeah and when their lips when you see their face and they're potentially you know it's better than nothing at all they used to have a boom box one time yeah with the two-man flag fold we had a friend who uh her husband was in uh he had served and then he was in reserve for a good while after that and Basically, they had the guy hold the the bugle up, and yeah, they they played it like you said, a digital bugle or whatever. Yeah. So uh, that's... actually, there's two guys at the American Legion group that'll be here tomorrow. I hope they don't. I hate to say it. I'm kind of. I hope they don't bring it and want to play when I play. But see, they're older, so it's it's you know for them it's kind of good because they they have taps played. They maybe not be able to play that. I can only play the notes because I have two on here that goes to a lower key. I want to say. And your first and last name is? Brian. Mar Brian Martsoff. Okay. Where are you originally from growing up? Uh, Southern California. Oh. My, well, I was at Edwards last year working. Northern L.A. County. My mom and dad went, went met when he was based at Point Magoo. Oh. And then uh, yeah. later he was in San Diego for most of his career out wow. there. Yeah. So, you know, I see... Practice a few notes. And okay. Then, and then, uh, yeah, if you take some pictures there, I, I want to get your email. Uh... I've taken pictures of this before, but it's always nice to have some to put any like little. I did a little video as you were talking there to have something to put it in context. Uh, five flags out here. Some have disappeared, either been taken, but, uh, or if they've worn out, maybe somebody was just trying to. Them up yeah. Show, respectfully for them. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna lower the flag tomorrow morning. Maybe it's 7:45. Not sure. So yeah, they're gonna come here. They and then they're gonna go to County Square. American Legion Post Three. They may do the three volleys, but they're gonna lower the flag and then maybe I'll play. At some point, I'm not sure how the what the proper etiquette is. They'll raise it at a point when I play taps, live taps, and then we'll sing the national anthem together as a group and then be very brief. So you're welcome to come tomorrow morning if you want to. Yeah, definitely. A lot more people keep it in mind. will be parking. Yeah, but at least they have a couch notes. out here next to the dumpster. <laughs> Good day. Yeah. <laughs> I'll practice some notes, you know, because I just never know. You just never know how the first note, you know, is going to come out. And the neat thing under George Bush, they made it approvable for veterans or those that retired in the military to salute in public. Did you know that? At a ball game or something like that, or like this, as a civilian not in uniform. Hmm. I guess it technically, I uh, never thought about it, that, that not being technically all right before. I guess probably a lot of people just did it out of habit. Yeah. All right. Good to meet you today. Nice meeting you. Yes.